Hey folks, here we go, we've got another infographic for you. This is a really quick, really, really super quick and easy one. Uh, basically on coastal transportation processes. So if you start by just popping the title and then drawing the seabed. It's just kind of a loosely wavy line like this. We'll call that the seabed. And then let's pop in the waves. So we can have sort of the top of the, the waves up here. Any old waves will do because we're not really interested too much in those. It's what's going on inside. So there are four different types of coastal transportation that you need to be aware of for um, AQA GCSE geography. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with the heaviest and then we're going to move uh, particles and then move to the lightest. So the first one, if we put a little one down here, is traction. Now traction is another word for kind of rolling is the way I want you to remember this. The rolling of materials. So bigger pebbles, bigger stones, they might be quite angular. Uh, they don't have to be smooth, but obviously it depends on the where you are in the world. Um, they are moved by the same wave energy, but they're not lifted up because they're too heavy. So they are basically rolled along the bottom of the seabed. And that rolling process could be quite gentle, could be quite violent, um, but it inevitably moves them. And that might be in the direction of longshore drift, or uh, it could just be with the tide, but it's traction, which is rolling. Now, when these particles get a little bit smaller, I'm just going to put number two over here, they start bouncing, which we call saltation. We just write saltation and in brackets, I want you to remember the movement is a kind of bouncing movement. So we'll draw them just a little bit smaller and they kind of bounce up and then fall back down again and then they bounce up and fall back down and so on. And that kind of bouncing movement, again, it can be quite busy, quite violent, it can cause them to um, almost like a road slightly and, and knock it rough edges off um, but also mainly it's a type of transportation so it's going to be moving them along the coast possibly in the direction of longshore drift now the next one this it gets a bit more interesting here this is a sort of floating so we're going to put um number three over here we're not going to call it floating though because the proper word proper geographical key term is suspension because they are basically suspended or you know, floating in the water. Now, they're a lot smaller, but obviously for the purpose of this infographic, we're gonna draw them probably larger than they really would be if this was to scale. And we're gonna just pop in there the word floating. Okay, so these are particles that are in the water, they're visible in the water, um, but they're just very, very small and they're light enough to be lifted up and taken along with the wave energy and, and within the, the sea. And then the final one, uh, which is one you probably won't have thought of, but this is solution. So when they're even smaller than these floating suspended particles, when they're actually dissolved into the actual seawater itself, that's called solution. They become part of the solution of the sea. So the, you know, if you were to grab a cup and put it in the seawater, if you were to analyse that cup of water, you would actually find particles of um, sediment in there. If you think of something like chalk, chalk dissolves really easily. So we're just going to show you that these tiny dots, but obviously in reality they would actually not be visible. They would be in the seawater itself. Okay, and there you go. Very quick, very simple, four types of coastal transportation.